Question. Yes. The member from Windsor to come Thank you, Speaker. My question this morning is for the Minister of Health. Good morning, Minister. Seniors in Windsor and Tecumseh are worried about the Liberal plan to nearly double the cost of their prescription drugs. Under the Liberal budget, the cost of the deductible for the vast majority of seniors will increase by 70 per cent this summer. Speaker, Deputy seniors House Leader, second fixed time. income simply can't afford this. People are already struggling to pay the rent and put food on the table. My question to the minister is simple and straightforward. Exactly how many of Ontario's 2 million seniors will be forced to pay more for their prescription drugs because of this Liberal government? Thank you, Minister of Health and Long Term Care. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I know some erroneous information has been out there, uh, which doesn't accurately reflect the number of seniors that will benefit from this program. And the truth is, Mr. Speaker, that roughly 25 per cent of Ontario's 2 million seniors will benefit from paying no annual deductible at all. So there's, there's a significant number, 173,000 who are currently paying a $100 annual deductible that will join roughly 300,000. The member from Hamilton East, Stony Creek, come to order. Finish, please. Join more than a quarter of a million other low income, the lowest income seniors that will pay no annual deductible, roughly 25 per cent of the total seniors in this province. It's pretty remarkable that that number that, that will transition Answer. into that positive space, Mr. Speaker. And there are also other important changes that we've made uh, that reflect that we are the most generous by far province in the entire country with regards to. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Well, obviously, by the mathematical gobbledygook, you're refusing to tell us how many seniors are going to be paying more for their prescription drugs. Our seniors aren't rich, Speaker. They watch every penny. The Premier wants to nearly double the cost of their prescriptions. This is the wrong thing to do. We should be expanding access to universal prescription drugs, not forcing seniors to pay more. Speaker. When will the minister stop making excuses, actually stand up for the seniors in this province, and put a stop to the Premier's plan? Thank you, Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, I implore, in fact, I'm begging the NDP to just one time in this legislature mention that 170,000 more seniors, the lowest income seniors, those that that party would purport to support, oh, Mr. Speaker, but I don't understand why it's, it, it's impossible for them to actually reference that positive development. So in Canada, our, the out-of-pocket expenses for seniors in this province is $277 per year. The next closed closest province is more than twice that. In fact, some provinces, the out-of-pocket out expenditures are as high as $1,000 a year. This is a very progressive policy. It means that those that can afford it will be asked to pay a little bit more. But a quarter, a quarter of the seniors, those low-income seniors that I would have hoped the NDP would support this process, but that's the old NDP. They can't mention that number. Thank you. 